So let's say I want to find the centre and radius of the circle with this equation. Now, the equation in this format has been expanded out. And we want to get it back into the completed square form. So this relates directly back to that process that we saw right at the beginning of this section. So I want to complete the square on the x's. So I've got x squared plus 2x, so that'd be x plus 1 squared. Take away the square of the 1, so the minus 1. Plus, then I want to focus in on the y's. So we've got the y squared and the minus 6y. So we're going to have y minus half the 6, so 3 squared. Take away the square of that, so take away 9. We've also got that take away 14 on the outside, and it's all equal to 0. So now what I want to do is I want to keep the x plus 1 squared and the y minus 3 squared on the left-hand side of the equation and move everything else onto the right. I've got minus 1, minus 9, so minus 10. Take away 14, so minus 24. Add 24 to both sides. Leaves me with this equation here, from which I can then identify the centre as minus 1, 3. And the radius as root 24. Okay? So, that could, obviously you can simplify the third down if you like. Um, so, 2 root 6. But that is how we can find the centre and radius of a circle in this expanded form using that completing the square technique that we saw before.